Oh, it's the arm dude here. Hey, are you and your company walking the inventory tightrope? Well, in this video, I want to take you through some of the inventory management tools that we have available in ARM. This includes everything from a reservation system to an inventory system that can manage one or multiple warehouses, sale or rental inventory, physical counts, repair items, a little bit of everything to manage your inventory. And if you get a chance, check out our website and look at the blog section. Clark Haley has posted a great blog out there titled Walking the Inventory Tightrope. And together with this video, hopefully we can help you and your inventory walk that tightrope to profits. Stay tuned, folks. Well, the ARM and MASS90 software provides us with some powerful inventory management features. Now, in this case, we do perform most of these functions within the inventory maintenance screens. Now, from here, this is where I go in and create my inventory items. I give it their descriptions, extended descriptions if I want to. Tell it things like the product line, product type, uh, the type of valuation, uh, all of my different pricing, what I want to sell it for, uh, renting it, uh, the history of it, quantities, sale info. You can see the various buttons that are here. Let me take the time just to explain a few of these. Alias allows us to assign a, another item number that we can use as an alias for this item number. So let's say you're setting up unique items based on the vendor you're purchasing it from. Well, you can relate those together as aliases. So if you're out of inventory on one, you can refer over to the alias for the other. Now the alternate button allows you to go in and set up alternate inventory items or suggestions and you can set up to eight of these for your primary inventory item. This works great if you're trying to fill an order and you're out of the particular item. Well, do you have some fallback items that might do the job as well? You can use the alternate item maintenance features for that. Now accessory lists are a powerful tool as well in that you can set up accessories for either rental or sales. Let's take a look at a rental accessory list and you'll see that any time that I rent this particular item I want to make sure to pop up a window that provides an accessory list. Now these accessories can be things like uh, required items. You want to make sure that every time they rent this parent item that they take these other ones. Uh, or they could be just used for upsell purposes. If they typically rent this, then they might want to have these additional items as well. That's another place where the accessory list can come into play. Now, there's some other tabs involved for the maintenance as well. If I come over here to options, these are some of the things that I can set up as far as how I want the inventory maintenance features to uh, work for me. Now, if I look at transactions, what we'll see here is that here are all the different uh, invoicing activity that's occurred this period for this particular item number. Now, anytime I see these particular icons with the little arrows, that lets me know that if I wanted to drill down into this invoice, I could do so by selecting it and then clicking on the drill down. Now, let's look at inquiry. And from inquiry, we could see a number of things. First off, what I'm seeing, here are some open purchase orders that are out there where I was bringing this item into my inventory. Now I can also look at open sales order activity as well as open rental contracts that are out there. Okay, so that's some of the functionality provided in Inquiry. Some of the other things I can do is come over to cost detail. If I'm using a valuation method other than average cost, I'll be able to get that uh, cost detail. I can come out here to the image and this allows me to have a photo of the inventory item uh, associated to the inventory. So that any time I'm in the inventory uh, or even in the contract entry or reservations inquiry screens, I'll be able to pop up an uh, image in the middle of those screens. Okay, so that's a little bit more about the inventory maintenance screens. Now let me just tell you that for all of the data elements that are captured as a part of this inventory module, there are several different reports that are available. These reports can help us with things like utilization, purchase history, quantities on hand, all types of inventory related uh, data that we might want to view in a report. 
we have that ability to do that in a variety of inventory reports. So that's a little bit about the inventory maintenance options that's available with Mass90 and ARM. Very powerful tool, really helps you walk that inventory tightrope, if you will.